This video comes with a seizure warning, but if you like flashing lights and fancy having a seizure today, then please continue. <laughs> but seriously, Rust comes with a health warning now too, thanks to this update, although if you're playing this game it's probably already too late for you. If you do start to experience any negative effects though, such as excess saltiness or uncontrollable reeing, then you might want to pull out if you can. It is of course that time of year again. I mean, it's always that time of year for something, isn't it? Scarcely a day goes by without some wonderful occasion inflicting itself upon us and trying to sell us useless tat. And this time it's the turn of the one when people like to start doing strange things with large orange fruits or vegetables depending on whether you've asked a botanical or a culinary type person. As is tradition, as well as the usual stuff, a number of new items and temporary effects make their way into Rust around this time of year and these will probably be pushed to Main sometime later today, Friday the 19th, which may well be in the past depending on when you listen to this. If not, then you can hop onto the staging branch and see them now, and this is what we've got this time. First of all, a number of the scientists have morphed into scarecrows and they're not particularly bothered if you look like a crow or not. Also, don't be fooled into thinking they don't have brains, as not only are they rather good at keeping up with you, but they'll also lob bean can grenades and pitchforks at you if they feel like it. They'll also pick fights with scientists, which can be quite funny. To go with the scarecrows, there are some extra weapons, such as pitchforks, sickles, and butcher knives, which you'll be able to get your hands on from dispatching them. But that's not all. You'll be able to find a ton of other tat on your travels, plus a few other items will go up for sale on the store and buying these will mean you'll be able to craft them at any time of year if you so desire. These include a version of the campfire with a cauldron on top of it, a speaker that plays random creepy sounds, a fog producing machine which runs on low grade and which has a motion detector, and of course the item that everyone's mum's been warning you about, the strobe light. Now if you're attacked by an epileptic zerg made up of players who've all willfully ignored the seizure warning then feel free to use it defensively, otherwise just combine it with the fogger 3000 for some seriously atmospheric misty fun. Oh and you can ramp up the speed as well if 10 hertz isn't quite doing it for you. There is one other item that you'll be able to get which I haven't mentioned yet and you can see it in this shot. Give up? Okay, this is the barrel costume and what it lacks in protection, speed and vision whilst wearing it more than makes up for in stealth. Having a bad hair day? Hiding from the fashion police or student loans? No problem, just pop this on and crouch in the bushes. Just be aware that you do still jiggle about a bit and you can't wear it with anything above the waist. Oh, and there also seems to be work going on with the spray can, which is tagged as being for the same event but doesn't seem to be in just yet. We've got this animation which was posted to Twitter yesterday, but as to its function, we'll just have to wait and see. The rowboat, the good old SS Hulk, is soon to be no more. And no, I don't mean that rowboats are being removed, I mean that the model is changing from the generic asset store one into a spacky new custom built rig, which I'm sure you'll agree looks a lot more suitable. Not sure when exactly this will replace the one we currently have, perhaps with the forced wipe on November the 1st, but I know I definitely like to see skins for it if it were possible, and what about being able to name your galleon one day? Looks like there'd be plenty of room on the side to write Boaty McBoatface or similar if we were allowed. Hint, hint. I had a comment on last week's update that I thought was incredibly deep and could well just be talking about human civilization in general, and it said, first the land was re, then the waters was re, now the sky is re. Referring of course to the new hot air balloon that I showed you. But I did mention something else that will be filling our skies soon, and I told you I'd try to get a visual on it, so here it is. This is our first glimpse of the new drone model, which as you can see is a quad rotor affair and does indeed include a CCTV camera. It seems to have been modelled on this original concept from a long time ago, but at the moment I have no idea when we can expect these to hover into view, as they're going to include CCTV functionality. That system has to be implemented too, which will also probably require electricity, so I wouldn't start holding your breath just yet, but I will of course keep you up to date as and when I get more info. Please Please let me know down below what you thought to this week's offerings, a like and a sub is also appreciated. Talking of which, subbing, ringing notification bells and even sacrificing a small monkey isn't enough to guarantee YouTube will notify you of my videos these days. The last one hardly got pushed out to anyone it seems, which is why it's a good idea to follow me in whichever other places you can, such as Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group which will all get you notified of new content and which seem to work quite well unlike YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty.
Cheerio.